You're watching Alabama's 13 News. It took eight years for the social networking website Facebook to go from a Harvard dorm room to a publicly traded company. Now, after its first day on the market, Facebook is valued at more than $100 billion. Chris Pallone has more from New York. Here we are. Here we go. Look, there we, we have it. it. Facebook opening for trade. The social networking site Facebook, known for doing things its own way, threw a curveball at investors and analysts, opening for its first public stock trade more than a half hour later than scheduled, leaving traders in the dark about what they had bought or sold. You imagine there was only one theater showing the Avengers over the past week and everybody was trying to get in the narrow doors uh, and, and waving their tickets around. They're trying to make sure that there's not the equivalent of a stock market riot here as people try to get into the stock. Facebook put more than 400 20 million shares on the market and set a record for the most number of shares traded on a stock's first day. Not at all the kind of opening that many were hoping for and expecting. From but some analysts wonder if the deal was overhyped after Facebook's stock failed to have a huge one-day pop, ending just 23 cents over its initial $38 price. Earlier, 28-year-old Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg rang the Nasdaq opening bell from his company's Menlo Park, California headquarters, surrounded by hundreds of Facebook employees hoping to become millionaires themselves. Now Facebook's 900 million users have a chance to get a piece of a company which helps connect their lives, but not everyone is ready to put their money where their mouse is. I'm buying any shares of Facebook. No way. Facebook does make money, though it hasn't figured out how to place ads on mobile devices, leading analysts to disagree on whether Facebook is a good investment. But it is one that elicits a thumbs up from the brains behind this former dorm room startup. Chris Pallone, Alabama's 13 News. And analysts say the less than stellar opening may not be all Facebook's fault. Uh, many stocks took a tumble today, sharing losses across the board. But still, it will take time to tell if Facebook will turn out to be a good investment. Talking about good investments, boy, Chris Ballone, when he was here. Yeah. Yeah, we send him out. He's in New York. And good point. We taught him well. Yes, we did. <laughs> Everything he learned. Right we here. We miss Chris, but it's nice to hear his voice. Yeah, Certainly is. is. Jerry Tracy. Back